Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Byrne. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using, of course, Smart Technology Gain. Now, keep in mind, in this video demonstration, you'll notice that we do demonstrations a little bit more extreme than everybody else. And like I said, you know, it's a bit of a challenge, <clears throat> a challenge our technology to see if you can do the same thing we do. Also, too, uh, keep in mind that um, I tell people to go out and search the internet, find out how many people are doing demonstrations on this level, and then get back with us. Before even buying from us, before even buying from us, we suggest you go search the internet and see how many people are doing demonstrations on this level. Now, keep in mind, my projector sits around 13 feet. My office slash gaming room is around 13 feet. All right, so from 13 feet to the screen, we are in a fully lit environment. If you look at the overhead light, I want the Home Depot. I got a more high powered uh, um, LED light to lighten the room. There's no shade around it, blocking either light. It's just light dispersing all over the room. And also to keep in mind, look at my projector, okay? Usually most people, when they have their projector set up, where the windows are sitting, the projector will at least be around somewhere between six, maybe seven, maybe eight feet away from where the windows are originally at. So the light coming from the window would have to travel eight, maybe six to eight feet before it hits the projector. Once it hits the projector, the back of the projector, then it would have to hit the screen, which would be another maybe 12 feet away. So by then the light would have diminished before it even hit the screen. Now, keep in mind that my projector sits right against the back of the window, which means the light that comes in doesn't have six to eight feet. It just hits the projector at probably one inch and boom, hits the screen. Now that's why I'm showing you the screen without the projector on because I want you to see how much light is in the environment that's actually hitting the screen. All right, so let's begin. We're gonna do this on dark demonstrations because the reason I'm gonna use dark scene demonstrations is to show you how powerful these screens are using smart technology game. They have color enhancement technology. So let's begin. Turn this up a little bit. My wife's asleep. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to get murdered early in the morning. And as you can see, it doesn't wash out, it doesn't fade. Now keep in mind, I did this demonstration with light just cascading through the window. And the screen looked fantastic. Now, and this is everyday environment for the screen. With, even with the blind shut, the lighting that I have in my environment, this is everyday lighting for this technology. There we go, got the cameras blurring in for a minute, wouldn't pick up. Now look at this. Look how deep the reds are. We don't have any washing out, any fading to the screen whatsoever. Now at the end of the demonstration, I got a special announcement. We got some special screens that we have coming out with nanotechnology. And they make it easier. And you see that? Look how fantastic the, the reds are on that screen. No washing out, no fading. Looks just like a TV. That's supposed to go better. There we go. Focus is fighting me just a bit. Now watch this. I'm gonna go over here on an angle. That's 13 feet back from my screen. Look at that, on an angle at 13 feet. Projector sits way back there at 13 feet. This is the image that we pick up. You don't have to be in the dark to make the picture look fantastic. Keep in mind the projector has never ever been calibrated. No form of 4K upscaling and we're still set in the factory default settings. And these screens are fantastic if you're going to be using them for your office. You're going to be using them for commercial um, advertisement. They're fantastic screens because they can pick up in very well lit environments. Fantastic for churches. And also, too, if you're going to use it for theater, dedicated theater, it doesn't make a difference. It's going to look fantastic. On top of that, the screen is black, which makes it gorgeous. Also, too, this is plexiglass. And for those of you who have been emailing me and asking me, all right, is a, is a screen paint restricted to plexiglass? No. You can coat anything you want. Literally. You want to coat the side of your car? You can coat the side of your car. 
You want to coat blackout cloth, you can do vinyl, wood, glass, you name it. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to do a black nano glass. Now as for the Nano Invisible, the formula for that is only available for distributorship contract only. You have to have a contract in order to obtain that formula. Um, as for the wallpaper screens, they will be available for customers. And we're pretty much just sold out on the pre-orders. I think we have maybe about 16 left. And as I said, on the launch date, we will not have, you cannot get an order on launch date. It has to be a pre-order only. But once that's done and that shopping cart closes, that's it. We'll restock the screen a month later. Show you another one. And keep in mind, look how much light got light coming into the windows, the overhead, and look at this. Now just in case of my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge using Technology Game. Or Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. Hoping you enjoyed the video demonstration, just showing you how powerful this screen is. And keep in mind, when you saw the technology behind the uh, Nano Invisible, the Nano Invisible is 10 times more powerful than screen. But even at the Nano's capability, it does things that other screens cannot do. Do you have any idea how much money this would save you on an OLED TV? Look at the colors. The colors don't wash out, don't fade. Come right over here on an angle. And I can see this screen right on an angle. And all this light. You got screens out there that cost you four and five thousand dollars that'll wash out the minute you hit that screen on an angle. It's called narrow viewing angle. And this is just real quick for those of you that are curious to see what the white levels look like on the screen, just for kicks and giggles. Now, I've done this video many times. This shows you the white levels on the Nano Black.
So it has amazing white level capability. In contrast, Go get that camera focus. There we go. Look at the blues. Look at the yellows. Perfect. Sorry for my camera's moving from side to side here. We have some demonstrations really quick for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen. If you're getting this, ladies, you watch my channel also. Look how much light we have in the environment. Sorry about the camera focus. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Thank you all.